right guys, what is going on today? Uh, we have a cool review for you guys. The holidays are coming up and I wanted to do one of my favorite pieces of technology because you might be saying the same thing as me and saying to yourself, I want to get a cool gift for my cousin, my nephew, my uncle, my grandma, whatever it's going to be. And what should I get them? So today we're looking at the Bose SoundLink Color 2. So this is my favorite Bluetooth speaker uh, for multiple reasons. Um, but the question of the day and the question of this video is, is this the best Bluetooth speaker to buy? Bose has a great brand name. Everyone knows about Bose, maybe not internationally. Um, but the point is, guys, is if you're looking for a speaker that's going to last a long time battery-wise, have good sound quality, not break the bank, and also I think a big perk to Bluetooth speakers is being portable. Today we're going to find out, is this the best Bluetooth speaker for your money? Coming up. All right, guys, so before we dive in, I will include that this Bose speaker is gonna come out of the box with a USB cable in order to charge this. So this is a portable speaker, meaning that you are able to charge this sucker up and get a good amount of battery life out of it. Bose claims about eight hours. I have noticed that when you turn the volume up and down, as logic would state, that the battery would drain faster or slower depending on how loud the speaker is. Um, I would consider that if you are someone who's going to use this in loud environments to promote like partying or things like that. If you're trying to go on a boat or something and you really want to crank this up, you might not get the full eight hours. What my experience has been is that this gets pretty much around five to six hours on full blast. I think Bose meant that more of a selling point, but also to get people to buy it because eight hours when it's on medium volume really does do the job if you're at like a dinner party. So eight hours of battery life, six to eight hours, guys, really not too bad. Um, you can also bring a power, it is USB, so you can bring a portable charger if you wanted to and kind of have this thing plugged in all day. That way you're really not losing out on anything. This is gonna be a Bluetooth speaker. There is a headphone jack, which means if you absolutely wanted to plug it into a portable device, that way you are able to do that. However, full disclosure, I've actually never used it that way um, because as you can imagine, if it's a Bluetooth speaker, why would I want to? So anyways, guys, the, the speaker is gonna feature a speaker, a big speaker on the front, as well as a smaller one on the back. It is a water resistant speaker. I have had this near a hot tub before and had no issues with using it around the hot tub. Um, I had splashing done on it and I also left this out at a previous house all night in the rain. It was under a um, deck awning so the rain really it didn't get soaked but I will say that for water resistance this is not something I would recommend trying. I will put a disclaimer in this video that I would not recommend getting this wet but water resistance Bose is touting that if you splash something on it you're not going to have any issues with the functionality of the device meaning it will still work. Um, for the sake of this video though, I don't want to get in trouble. I do not recommend trying that. But if you are somebody who does spend a lot of time near the water, consider this versus other speakers. Um, I think that's kind of cool. And I think just taking the peace of mind out of, you know, if you leave in your backpack overnight on a camping trip and a few drops hit it, whatever it's going to be. There is a back speaker. It is about 25% of the full speaker. And that is on the back. Um, basically what that enables is that enables so 360 degree audio range. Um, from my experience, guys, I will say this, that the speaker on the back works about 80% of this one, meaning that it still works well, but what happens is when you twist it onto its back, you can still, you can tell that there's a little bit of audio fidelity lost. So I would keep that in mind, um, for entertaining people, this is the perfect speaker from what I've noticed. There is a anti-slip material on the bottom. This helps so that if you put it on a table and somebody were to come by and hit it, obviously if they take it out this way, you're not gonna have any, you're not gonna be able to save it. But if they were to hit it at the bottom, it's really not gonna just slide right off a table and maybe off of a porch. So that's kind of cool, guys. So as far as like design and everything, I really like this speaker. It's also not super heavy, but as you can imagine, there is technology in here. Um, so as far as like the weight goes, it's not really a feather. Um, but I would say this is not really even close to like a laptop. I would say this is probably half the weight of a laptop, maybe 75%. So that's really neat. There is a row on the top as far as design goes, guys, that allows you to switch your volume 
Um, I find it easier to just switch it on the iPhone itself. So you can switch it on the top here and then there is a Bluetooth pairing mode as well as an on and off. The cool part about the speaker, which I really like, is that the speaker will actually do a red light on the power button when the battery is getting low. And I have found that the battery low red light gives you about a, I bet, I, I think it's about a 20% um, indicator, meaning you got about an hour and a half to two hours. I haven't really timed that or anything, but I would probably plug it in the red so that the party doesn't stop. Um, you get a white and then it's yellow, I believe, on the power button when you're about 50%, and then when it's fully charged, it's a green light. Um, I find this extremely useful, guys, because for me personally, sometimes I forget if I charge the device, and if I'm heading out to a camping trip, heading out on the boat, whatever I'm going to do, go to the lake, um, I don't really want to have to kind of guess and then get to my event and then realize my speaker is dead. That's just like a party foul. Um, so nobody wants that. So I really like how it gives you that opportunity. Um, and I think that that kind of was built to help you guys understand and make this simpler on your life. Um, the, the Bluetooth pairing mode is extremely easy. All you have to do is press that once. Um, and then if you want to repair a device, you actually press and hold it and that kind of repairs and resets the device. Um, so as far as that goes, that is all cool stuff. I really like how it's all right on the top and this is a very easy to maneuver device. There is really no complexity behind this speaker um, besides the fact that I would just keep in mind that there is a US, I think, I believe it's micro USB for the charging. So make sure that you have one of those when you're traveling. It is not lightning. So if you're an iPhone person, be sure to carry another cable. So guys, what you're here for is probably, um, you know, is this the best Bluetooth speaker for the money? The holiday seasons are coming up, whatever it's going to be. As far as sound quality, you're probably thinking, I like music. Everybody does. Totally understand that. So for sound quality, guys, for me personally, I have been impressed. Um, I don't really think any music doesn't sound good on here. Um, the bass, I think, gets a little bit not as thumpy when you it, – it the thump is less <laughs> when you – turn it all the way up to full blast, um, meaning that it's still there, but it, it, it kind of just make it, it, it kind of just isn't as present. Um, and Bose is known for being more on the mid ends, mid end of music, um, promoting that as far as that goes. So I would say that that is definitely true to fit here. Um, for the price, I believe these are running for like 130 Black Friday, I would definitely take a look at this because Black Friday, you're probably gonna get this for about 80 bucks. Um, and I think that's a really good deal eight hours of battery life, but the sound overall, guys, the highs are good, the mids are good, and the lows, for the most part, are gonna be, re I think they're good. Like I said, when it's full blast, I think sometimes the lows are a little bit drowned out um, because they focus on the vocals and they vo focus on kind of the mid-range of the music. Otherwise, though, I don't really think, if unless you're a real audiophile, you're gonna really notice. The bottom line is, I would say, for this price range, this size of speaker, battery life, everything this this speaker offers, I would say the sound is impressive, and I would definitely recommend it. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Once again, this is Justin with The Digital Life, and I'm here to bring you guys the best reviews and thoughts on technology to help you make the decision before you have to buy these things and spend the money. Thanks for watching.